Coolio, and we are live. Hello. So, who are we? First of all, I am Graham. I am not Tree Kiwi, as you may have noticed. I am lacking the mighty beard, <laughs> and I will be for the rest of my life, sad face. Uh, but I'm joined here by product owner Phil. I know you folks have seen him before recently, and he's been uh, back by popular request to talk about what, Phil? Yeah, it's a good question. It's a good question. Uh, today, it's an absolute pleasure to be next to you. Um, well, yeah. We're going to be talking about a couple of different things, and today I think is going to be a stream of more talking than showing. Horrible, horrible. Are you trying to say that I'm bad at hunting? No, 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 no. no I okay. think we're going to see some excellent tree shots here and there. <laughs> Uh, no, we'll be talking about the upcoming True Patch, mm. which is our focus on quality of life, uh, with more stability and health of the game. So we have a couple of things that uh, we've been working on for some time. Uh, we're going to go into a little bit more detail of things that we kind of already completed or are close to completion, some things that we're still working on, and obviously some burning questions within the community. Yes. So a big shout out to everybody. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Great to have you guys. And yeah. Yep, and for those of you who uh, missed the memo, the reason I'm here instead of Tree Kiwi is he is spending some much-deserved time with his new family. So you'll unfortunately have to get used to the sight of me for a few few weeks. Uh, but hopefully I can fill that void for you. Uh, hey, Capone, I see you in there. Doesn't say hello to me, just Phil. Charming. Um, <laughs> so yeah, first of all, uh, I'm of course rocking a shotgun today. Yes. So what's going on with the shotgun? Absolutely, that's a, a great start. Uh, one of the things that we've been doing for True Patch is a overhaul on the shotguns because we know they deserve it. Uh, you guys have been asking for it a long time, uh, so it's coming. Uh, the things that we're doing for the shotgun is a consolidation for the pellets. Uh, so once we shot an animal and harvest it, you will see in the harvest screen that it's going to be displayed differently. Yep. Instead of just displaying one arrow as we do it with the, the other weapons, uh, which um, indicates your bullet, mm. you'll see a little spread kind of like Ooh. a cloud of all the pellets that hit mm. uh, so that's one thing that changes um, it's also a change of uh, there's a, a minor deviation in velocity per pellet yep so that's nice for the folks who are really into shotguns uh, you'll have a hit indication per shot so if you remember in the current system the old system um, every single pellet that hit the animal is like one registered shot in the harvest yeah screen, so they would basically be a huge it could list. get long yeah, yeah exactly so yeah. this is now basically one cloud so to speak is one shot is one gotcha. shell that um, makes sense yeah so yep. this is something we'll see it's still in development so if you look at the integrity bonuses on those shots they'll all be at a hundred percent because we're still working on it yeah so we'll go through every single shotgun and tune the integrity accordingly that's a good point to drill into while here top corner folks over that way you can see in development build. This build is even more in development than a lot of ones we bring you in the past. So a whole bunch of the things that we're talking about you may not see represented in game yet, but maybe are behind the scenes working. Some things might be represented, but are not behind the scenes working. So this is very much us kind of showing you bits and pieces, but mostly we're going to be talking you through it and telling you what's going to be coming in. Sorry to cut you off there. Phil. Yeah, no, that's but good. Yeah. That's good. Uh, and I think last thing to mention on, on the, the shotguns, to kind of understand the goal where we want to be is with buckshot, for example, you should be able to down uh, small to, I think, small deer uh, from like 40 to 50 meters. So mm -hmm. that should be a thing for scoring and save and these kind of things. These will be addressed in the true patch as well. So what yes. we're going to do uh, for animal population is we're going to do a reset of all animal populations. On It would still normalize itself uh, over time. But obviously, it would be much quicker if we just do a reset. Yeah. And I think now with the, the, the feedback we're getting and the metrics that we're collecting, is we decided to go for that approach. Yes. Um, Sorry, I'm just going to ban someone on Facebook. Adrian Cole, play nice, or you don't get to play at all. Okay? So Let's share the love, folks. Um, so, yeah, a reset of population on all platforms. That's going to come your way. And we will also be resetting uh, the leaderboards and the hunting log, since that is uh, spamming up now with things that shouldn't be in there. Yeah. So get ready for a reset there. That's also going to be on all platforms. And uh, do note that a reset of populations will also reset your need zones. So that's going to be pretty much a clean slate on the maps. 
Um, so if you have any any diamonds out there or anything that you want to claim, do it. Yeah. Um, the true patch is still in development, but we're aiming for it to release within the next couple of weeks. Cool. So not long to wait. No, not long to wait. We yes. want to get rid of these issues. Um, but we also want to, to get it right. So yeah, exactly. We're going to work yeah. a little bit more on it, and then it's going to come your way on all platforms. Um, so, oh, there it is. I wonder if it was around here somewhere. So we obviously covered uh, the population reset to reset animals. What about the folks who would, um, you know, already harvest them? Um, maybe their logs are looking a bit wonky, that kind of thing. I'm not sure if you covered that whilst I was digging into Facebook there or not. Um, what I remember, so I'm, I'm a little rusty just mm -hmm. coming, coming back from vacation, but yes. we had the issue with antlers being missing, right? I think that should have been solved with the latest hotfix that went out on console, I think, mm. tonight or yesterday night. Um, should be fixed on PC now. Um, and then, yeah, the, the remaining issues for scoring that we have, they will mm. be resolved with the population reset. And I hope... Uh, a couple of issues that we have still going on, to, which is something that we've been working on throughout uh, since release, is uh, animal pathfinding, uh, behavior in multiplayer, these kind of things. So this is stuff we're still working on. There's not one big change that we're aiming to roll out. There's always like a mm. couple of smaller fixes. So you'll see them in the full patch notes. And one big thing that we are working on is still the save games. Since we get a lot of uh, a lot of feedback saying like, oh, I lose my save or something's yeah. not working. So we're still looking into that. Um, that's one thing that are still in progress. So it's not nearing completion. So we'll have more information uh, going further, um, but we're looking into that. But the hint more specifically, I was trying to get a segue into was, um, Hunting logs, people have some weird animals in there currently, perhaps don't want them in there. Are we looking at addressing that? Maybe cleaning them out a bit? Yes, or so yes. leaderboards and hunting log will be reset. Yep. Yes. Completely so cleaned. So once the patch releases, that will start over. Yeah. Of course, you will still keep your animals that you have in the trophy lodge uh, to see and any taxidermized animals and that kind of stuff. But for the leaderboards and the hunting log, uh, they will be reset. Cleaned up. Yep. Yes. I was hoping I could smoothly get into the next point because I would have had this deer on the ground by now, but no. Um, so feel free to grab any questions you have in chat coming in here. Uh. Yeah, uh, my moose antlers are missing in my lodge, uh, Torp God. Um, depending on what platform you are, make sure you are on the latest version. Um, I think we had two issues here. One might have been pre Turex moose antlers, they should be fixed with the latest update. And then we had another issue where animals are scoring over a thousand points yep. currently. That will be fixed um, with the population reset. And I believe we had a fix for that as well. So either it's already fixed or it's going to come with the true patch um, that that issue is going to be done. Um, people saying, what's in the patch? Watch the stream. This is what this whole stream is going to be about. We'll probably go over some ground a couple of times as well. So just sit back, tune in, and we should uh, cover all the goodies coming up. All right, I've got a whole bunch of deer around me, but they're kind of milling around me in circles. Yeah, so just to repeat what we talked about so far, there's going to be a shotgun overhaul. You'll get more information about that in the coming days on our social channels as well, and we we'll hope to be showing a little bit on stream. <gasps> Just put one on it. See how, see how it goes. Nice directly running after it. Yes, I'm a predator. <laughs> it will chase down my prey. Uh, so a shotgun overhaul. Then we talked about the current uh, issues with animal population, animal scoring. Those will be fixed. There's going to be a reset of animal populations on all platforms, and a reset of leaderboards and hunting log. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that we're working on is the removal of the consecutive harvest bonus. So say what? <coughs> the removal of the consecutive Ooh. harvest bonus. Um, this is still a work in progress. Basically, what we want to do is it should not affect your score anymore. It should only affect uh, your the money that you're getting and the XP that you're getting. So uh, a good consecutive harvest bonus is still going to make it easier for you to, to get uh, XP and money, but it will no longer affect uh, the scoring you get on the animal. Nice. So no need to do that consecutive harvest check before you pick up that big, thick diamond potential that you're looking at on the floor so you can just concentrate just more on the hunt just go for it yeah. i think even though i think uh, i think it might be done but we have a an indicator on the map screen now mm. saying what your consecutive harvest is so oh 
Is bit, this in bit, this build now? A bit or? late, but no, I'm not sure. I mean, you can check. No, it's not in here. Not in here yet. Okay. Again, whip. Work in progress. So, uh, what happened to my deer that I just shot? It's uh, it's not bleeding, Phil. Again, work in progress work build here. Super, <laughs> super work in progress. Yes. Uh, I'll get on another one and see if I can just stick a whole bunch of ba <laughs> buck in it and just get it on the floor so we can look at that <laughs> sweet, sweet new harvest screen. Um, now remove quick kill. The thing with that, Raoul, is there's still, you know, that's a direct measure of you being a good hunter. The consecutive harvest was a little bit of a grayer area at that. I mean, obviously the intention was that you weren't just leaving stuff on the floor, etc. But quick kill is very much, you're using the correct weapon, you're shooting in the correct place, and you're being a good hunter. So removing that would kind of make no sense, I would say. Yeah, I um, think that's that's something we'll keep. Obviously, we're yeah. always open to the feedback that you guys have. Yes. But that is something that I think we're pretty happy with at the moment. Uh, one thing to note as you're reloading your shotgun, the integrity on shotguns is being reworked as well. Um, it's basically going to be... Uh, you will lose integrity per shot taken mm. on shotguns. That's how it's going to work. But we'll, we'll provide more information as we get closer to release. And, obvious, and of course, you'll get a nice summary of like how do shotguns work now. I'm confused what's going on. Yeah. Is that the deer over there? It is the deer. <gasps> Here's the sir. So as you can see here, uh, first of all, on the list of shots, you can only see one entry. Mm? So this is basically one shot or one shell, as you'd call it. And then here you see all these little arrows that uh, represent a pellet. So yes. you hit it with five in total. Yep. Um, the integrity bonus right now, you can ignore that. That's at 100%. We're still working on that. But this is going to be the new representation of the um, shot with shotguns. So mm. you'll see this on all animals. I think ducks is something we'll still have to figure out since they are really low on HP. Um, but if you hit an animal with a full pellet cloud, you'll basically see, basically see like, what, 40, 45 pellets or something like this in here. Yeah, with, with a little bird, bird shot. shot. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Nice. So it's much, much cleaner. You can get a better view exactly what's going on. What have I got walking around the top of here? Ah! Another customer. I put two in it for science. Is really low. What do I do? Um, test, test. I can bump you up a little bit. It up. You could probably tuck it in a little bit closer to your that magnificent moustache. Like there this? we go. Nice. Is this better? Yes, that looks good. Sweet. Um, chat, I think it's a little bit laggy, so if we answer late to your questions, please yeah. forgive us. Uh, I see a question from Maxis, and what is with the turkeys? Hmm. Good question. It's a good question right there. No updates on turkeys. Oh, but here we see another. Yeah, great. So I put two in that nice. just so we could demonstrate a little very bit good, better. Very good. Um, yeah, it's looking nice. It's really nice to see the exact representation of where shots are. And again, it's nice and clean on the side. You're not looking down pellet per pellet. Exactly. It makes sense. Yeah, yeah. And there's a couple of things that will be added. So if you mm. look at that um, hit list, so you see the, the organs that you hit. Yep. Um, and in the end, we're going to hit, I think in a little parenthesis, uh, how many pellets hit in that shot. So okay. you see a little 12 or 23 or whatever. Out of X or um, like maybe 5 no, I or think 6? It's or I think it's just going to okay. just... Or yeah. whatever. If players say like, but where's the out of X? We can, of course at that as well but yeah as you said i think it's it's really great to see this it's been taking a long time until shotguns get this love but it's it's a nice addition and finally makes your shotgun hunting viable yes anyone else notice it's a male with no horns uh th it's a female <laughs> it's it's a beautiful female righty so yeah shotguns um it's gonna be nice uh, i've actually been saying i really need to focus on the shotguns when I'm playing at home, but I've been having too much with the new weapon pack. <laughs> too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Coolio. Uh, let's see what else we had on this old list here. Yeah, um, I can go through a couple yeah, of, you've got of, yours of more in things. You. So, mm. just repeating it again. Shotgun overhaul is coming your way. Animal population reset. Uh, leaderboard reset and hunting log reset is coming your way on all platforms with the true patch. Um, we will remove uh, the consecutive harvest bonus that will only affect your XP and money, no longer your score. Um, and then there's a, a couple of things that we kind of finished so far for to patch smaller things. So I can just go through them. There's an issue um, that makes your camera snap after aiming, yes. that you always snap to north. 
Uh, that should be fixed with the true patch. Woo! Uh, we're gonna increase our tent limit from 8 to 16 per map. So that's nice. Mm. Um, we're doing an overhaul of our pathfinding uh, in-game as well. So that's gonna be a pretty big patch size. So brace for that one. It's probably gonna be 10 gigabyte and maybe a little bit okay, more. Okay, so it'll be a biggie, but w what does that give to people? Um, when we so it? basically we have how we <coughs> how the pathfinding works, it relies on what we call nav meshes, where basically animals navigate around so they know where to go and where not to go. Mm -hmm. And we're kind of fixing some issues we had generating these and sorting out some, some you know, uh, technical data and these kind of things. And when you rebuild those, uh, that's going to rebuild a lot of things in the game. That's why the patch size is so big. And we decided, okay, let's wait for the for the one really big patch where we do a lot of things and we will put that one in there. So people don't have to download 10 gig with every patch, but we do one big one. Okay. And this one is going to be the one. Great. So this is kind of just paving the way for future stuff. And exactly. An investment in... Uh, exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, some more fixed things is going to be the description for send eliminator, so it's not as confusing anymore. Uh, it's going to tell you exactly how long it lasts, 30 minutes. Mm. Um, some more aiming um, fixes, like sometimes when you aim, you would if you adjust it a little bit, you would s always snap yeah. like a pixel or two. Yep. That is going to be fixed. It's nice. Um, some more perks are going to be fixed for shotguns, like for example, both eyes open. Uh, we'll fix some floating um, props and vegetation, mostly next to mission areas or like major pathways. Key points of interest, yeah. Yep. Mm. Uh, bows will have sway. Mm. For anyone okay. who, who didn't know, bows didn't have sway. Yeah. Um, they do now. Um, we fixed the zeroing order on shotguns, so you would s normally zero from. I always forget. I think it's short, medium, long, or is it short, long, medium, something like this. And the shotguns would get uh, mixed up, so this will be fixed. A mm. couple of localization fixes uh, for some missions where it sometimes said like, oh, you have to harvest this specific deer, where in, in reality you only had to harvest any deer uh, for a couple of missions. Um, ba -bum -bum -bum. Dropping clues animals um, will only drop need zone clues if they are actually in a need zone nice that was not nice that's why i'm gonna put a few more on it just because i feel bad i, I shot that in the leg <laughs> <laughs> i'm still getting to grips with this 45 actually it's tons of fun but you mentioned you know having zeroing i don't play with zeroing i play hard mode <laughs> so I'm, I'm still <laughs> learning how my uh, my ranges are um nice. but yeah we have a heck of a list so far phil yeah. Great work for the team. I mean, this is going to be a doozy of an update. Will this patch be free? Hell yes. Um, yeah, this will be completely free for everybody on all platforms. Yes, absolutely. And you can expect it in the next couple of weeks uh, on all platforms. Um, and this kind of two patch. Uh, so we, we started talking about this a little bit earlier when, when we saw that the health is not in a place where we'd want it to be. Um, and mm. we started about replanning the roadmap a little bit that we had. Um, <laughs> we've done a lot of, of big updates this year with like True Rex, Trophy Lodge, Lion, Yukon, tons of things. And um, now this True Patch kind of thing is also something that we want to uh, keep doing. Yeah. So don't expect them every month or every so often, but they'll be a, a more common guest to see. Yes. And of course, as always, we will keep fixing bugs and making the game better with every Every release. Yeah, I mean, every release, we always add some bug fixes to yeah. the table, but this is just all about those sweet bug fixes and quality of life improvements. Uh, I saw a few things in there. What was I seeing? Um, mm, 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 mm. Where was it? The chat just went blah and just filled it full of stuff immediately. Um, I saw a really good one, but I can't find it now. Eh, apologies. Well, we'll... We'll get around to that again, I'm sure. Yeah, I'll try to keep a, uh, an eye on the patch. Uh, weapon loadouts. Yeah, great suggestion. It's not going to be in for this patch, but something that we have on mm. our list. Uh, da -da -da -da. This update is long needed. Shadow format. Yes, indeed. Uh, sorry it took so long. It's not so easy to just like swing around a whole development team and that kind of thing. But yeah. we're happy to finally uh, work on this a little bit more. Every release, there are a few bugs as well. I do, I do Kanan. Uh, yeah, we, we are doing our best. Um, with every release, if we see that things are broken or not as we want them to be, obviously we review and change the thing, uh, change how we do things. 
Um, so we're doing investments uh, into these kind of things as mm. we don't want that. Neither do you, nor do we. So hopefully we'll get better in yes. those aspects as well. That's what I was going to address. Someone was saying, can you do a list of this on Steam, please, so we can read it? And absolutely, of course, there'll be big old juicy patch notes coming, which will have all this listed down for you folks to read at your leisure. Yep. So uh, no worries about that. Um, I'm not sure if it's been confirmed, so maybe I'm, I'm saying something that's not going to be true. But I think we're going to have an open beta on this as well. Um, sorry, I was I was in the zone. <laughs> I was in the zone, man. Uh, job, yes, we're going to have an open beta. When's the open beta going to be? It's going to be this weekend coming, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> oh! oh! So folks can actually get to grips with some of the early changes. Um, it's prob is it going to be how 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 well baked is it going to be for open beta? Is this some things we're expecting? I mean, these will be listed, of course, so yeah. you can so the know going the in. The changes will be listed. There's not going to be everything in that open beta that we want to fix, but I think a couple of the big ones, like the shotgun overhaul, mm. I think we will try to do well. The animal population reset is not going to be that visible since it's going to be on a different branch on a different save game for you. Yeah, so that's going to be a little bit bit more difficult. We'll try to get the uh, consecutive harvest bonus removal in there. Uh, you'll see another big thing that I'll mention in a minute, Ooh. and all the other fixes that fixes that we mentioned should be in there. Um, so you'll see the fixes as always. Your your feedback is very much appreciated, and we do these open betas not only to get your feedback, but of course to also see if there anything. Uh, if our testing has missed anything or if we yeah. did any bad decisions. Yeah. And hopefully it's a lot of fun for you folks as well to test things out early and uh, yeah, get that early feedback in. Absolutely. Uh, one other fix that I missed here on my little cheat list. Um, backpacks will no longer make noise when you stand still. Oh. So that's nice. That's going to be a nice one. And um, so those yeah. Sorry. So, so I was going to say, so those of you who can't decide quite what you should be leaving at the lodge and taking your bags, you can have a little bit more freedom with your massive house on your back. <laughs> so, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, uh, this true patch is not only going to have just just bug fixes. Uh, we'll also roll out for something for the people who are perfectly happy with the game, mm -hmm. uh, which is going to be something in Hirschfelden. Uh, something that we're not going to show today, but with one of the next streams, and that's going to be the next True Rex anime. Yes, it is. But we, we, we'll be showing that off next week in full detail. Well, can we tell them what it is today? Graham, do you want to tell them what it is today? Uh, it's going to be geese. No. <laughs> <laughs> True Rack geese with little goosey antlers. <laughs> no, it, it's going to be the cute, adorable, and incredibly delicious roe deer. Yes. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to getting that. And also another great candidate for using a shotgun on so um exactly yes so that's going to be a good mix for the upcoming open beta so get your shotguns ready uh go for those road here they should have two racks in the open beta so you can check mm. the, the racks out uh test the shotgun and hopefully uh be happy be interesting to see to see the uh, the two racks versions of the rodeo. Obviously, they're very different to the other antlered animals having the very upright kind of racks. Yeah. so yeah pretty neat to check them out uh, uh, uh. Guys, we need dogs, please. Doggo would be great. Yeah, dog would be great. As long as we model it after my doggo. <laughs> Don't do that. My dog is useless. He could he could probably barely fa fetch like a tree off the floor, let alone a shot duck. What dog is it? It's a Lhasa Apsu. Uh, originally, they're used by the Tibetan monks to guard temples. Oh wow! But they just make noise, and then the, the actual big, useful dogs are the ones who come and like <laughs> tell people to go away. So it's it's just small, noisy, but very just very cute. Just a spooky dog. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um. Mm -mm. True geese. Uh, Folks were asking actually yeah. about uh, currently taxidermized animals that may have had missing racks uh, due to the previous issues. Yeah. Um, what's going to be the deal with those? Um, so there's two different issues, I believe. Mm. Um, one where we introduced true racks and the, the pre true racks antlers don't show up anymore. We had that issue with, I want to say elk, mm. uh, some other animal. So those will be fixed if there aren't already. And then the other issue we had, due to the scoring that you currently can have scores above a thousand, yep. uh, we, our system didn't know what address to pick in that case, so we fixed that as well. Um, obviously the scores won't be above thousand anymore, and the address will work for that as well, so expect pitch, uh, fixes for that. I get so generally happy when I see ducks now since weapon pack three because I get to use this amazing pistol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still grinding away for the pistol scope on my private game because I was never really a pistol hunter, but now I just need all the excuses to use this thing. So much fun. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, anxious panda, will we lose our tents with the population reset? No, uh, you, should, you should not lose any placed equipment with the population reset. You will lose your need zones. Um, yeah. Uh, one thing, since we mentioned geese, we're also working on that. We know there's issues uh, hunting geese in multiplayer, mm. so those should be fixed with the true patch as well. Nice. And something else I forgot. There's too much stuff, Phil. Yeah, there is a it lot of stuff. It's yeah. It's a lot of stuff. Maybe a Halloween event on Yukon with Werewolf Slack and Classic. I mean, <laughs> events are tons of fun. I think I, I raised uh, in the last stream. Although they're super fun, of course, they take a lot of investment from the team. And there's still so much for us to do with the rest of the game that works yeah. all year round. So yeah. maybe it's something we might address in the future. Yeah, but we have, like an ever-growing list of ideas what to do of, of Halloween because we every year we yeah. say like, oh, there's something more important we're working on or we, we'd rather fix some bugs. Yeah. So it's like, okay, but this year, what do we do thi this time? And it's like, what about this and that? And like, oh Wear God, turkey. Genius. Yeah, exactly. Wear, tur Wear turkey. <laughs> so we have a good list, but, but as you said, like usually we focus on like the next map or bug fixes. And I think this time around, it's probably going to be the same as well. Look at you. I haven't you actually like used this for handgun scope, so I'm a bit... You're shooting like all the ducks around except the one you were aiming for. No, that, that was planned. I was <laughs> compensating. It's <was> compensating. <sighs> How about you get on drive, Phil? No. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny this that I will drive ever. <laughs> <laughs> Any uh, word on muzzle loaders, fellas? I mean, again, that's talking about all the cool stuff we want to get into the game. That's obviously something that folks would love to see. Yep. It'll be lots of fun. Yeah. Uh, trophy Lodge, a way to be able to identify the specs on each animal trophy. Yes, Atticus Steward, that is something we're working on as well. It dropped a little bit in priority since we're working on bug fixes a little bit more. Uh, I think we'll be able to give you an update whether it will make it in for True Patch or whether it will be later. Yeah. I mean, obviously this is, again, going to be one heck of a patch, so I expect to see quite a lot of posts written by me explaining what's going to be in it, and uh, you'll have the full rundown of what you expect to see. Yeah, exactly. Can you explain why you need to reset need zones? Um, to basically address all the issues that people are having with uh, freak animals that are bigger than they should be. We have antlered stuff. So it, it's kind of uh, cleaning up based upon fixes that we've done recently. So uh, as we left up until now, the fix was performed. So no new instances of the issues would happen. But the sort of tainted, let's say, animals were still on your maps. This is a way of cleaning them out so that folks who are purists and do want to have, you know, a record of what they worked for, as it were, instead of getting a weird bugged animal, can uh, sort of enjoy that and the sense of satisfaction that comes with having legit animals yep. on your uh, exactly on your board. I'll go over there. Oh, nice bear! Shotgun. Oh, that's new. Restream chat just balked. Sorry, folks. Uh, if you said something, it would have disappeared. Uh, just reloading the chat window now. Yep. We can go over the things we said so far. Just briefly, oh, ch mm. chat is back already. Nice. Yes. Um, so what you can expect for the true patch, shotgun overhaul. We'll go into more details soon for that uh, in terms of like posts on, on social media. Uh, we will do a reset of animal populations, leaderboards, and hunting log. Mm. Uh, true racks for roe deer. Um, we will have removal of the consecutive harvest bonus for the score itself. It will still be applying to money and XP. Yeah. Uh, lots of bug fixes like um, camera snapping to the north. We increased the tent limit from 8 to 16. Um, pathfinding updates. There's going to be a big patch. Scent eliminator is going to be better uh, described. Backpack is no, no longer going to make noise when you're standing still. Uh, floating props are going to be fixed. Not all of them. Some of them. Uh, lots of fixes when your aim, like little pixel movement mm. is going to be uh, gone. So smooth out. And yep. also like we had a couple of um, aim cancelling animations that would play like when you leave crouch and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So we, we made that a little bit nicer. So those are the things to, to look forward to. And one other thing, uh, we'll have an open beta for this this weekend. So you can jump on it on Steam, uh, on PC only. Yeah. Um, and one thing for people who join the open beta, I would assume the majority of you will start new games on that. Since it's a new branch, mm -hmm. you can't rely on your old save game. Um, we will also have a new loadout for new players. So if you start a new game or mm -hmm. if you're a new player, 
um, we will overhaul the items that you get from the get-go. So not S just the trusty 243. Exactly. Uh, okay. Exactly. So to give a little bit of better insight to the game and the different mm. hunting styles that we have for the weapons, uh, you'll still get the 243, but you'll also get a handgun and a shotgun. Nice. Um, and I think you'll get scent eliminator instead of the scent lure for, I think, a deer. Uh, so there's a little bit of changes for mm. the loadout, just so it's easier for people to get into the game. Uh, folks asking, why is the beta not going to come to consoles? Yeah, uh, very good question. Mm -hmm. um, it's not as easy logistically to set those up on, on uh, consoles. It's totally possible, but we need to plan those out like long in advance. Mm. There's a lot of talk to the to the first parties. So for us on Steam, uh, we've been we're used to that, and it doesn't take away as much time as the other stuff. And yeah. we'd rather invest that into just doing the patches and all the content and updates then uh, figuring out how to do these open betas. It's not going to say that we we're never going to do them, but right now where we're a little bit pressed for time to just get the fixes mm -hmm. out and make the game stable, we just rely on the things that we, we know how they work and that can be done yeah. swiftly. It would unfortunately slow down the process a whole lot more, and it yeah. it's better putting that time into the, the live uh, improvements, I guess. Uh, do current players get that shotgun and handgun unlocked as well? Uh, we can take a look at that. Um, I would believe most of the players have that already, and we already discussed about having an event for players, maybe, mm -hmm. to get some extra cash, something like that. Uh, but it's definitely something we can look into. Noise. Where did my bear go, Phil? Wandered off. Uh, yes, we need Medved Love. Um, yeah, we've seen this... Um, mentioned a couple of times we haven't forgotten about medved we haven't forgotten about the other reserves either um adding more animals or features or whatever is always something that we want to do right now the bug fixes are just higher priority yeah uh someone's asking uh sort of hairiness is saying uh Will playing the beta affect your live game progress? It will not. It's a separate branch entirely. I'll be giving you instructions of how you can access it, and they're completely standalone, so one does not affect the other. I know some folks have fiddled with copying saves in, past, in the past and been burned by that, so please uh, try not to, or at least be very, very careful with backing yeah. things up. Yeah. Um, you should treat them as two separate entities. Yeah. Uh, Chase Holland, what about the above 1,000 scoring animals that are currently on the top of the codex? Uh, we will reset the leaderboards and the hunting log. So those, um, what do you say, a ab abnormal anomalies? Anomalies? Yeah. Or abnormalities? Uh, or abnormalities? Sorry. Something like that. English is very, very difficult language. It is. I have had difficulties myself. Uh, they should be purged. They will be reset. Good shot. Damn. Why you sound so surprised, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> Here I am. I just want to be nice. I was waiting for the capper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Can you bring a feature to sell or trade in unwanted guns? Um, what? What's? Why would? Why do you want to get rid of the guns? I, I suppose the root cause is maybe you want your inventory to look cleaner. It's easier to find things. If that's the case, maybe that's feedback. Is can we look at ways to categorize weapons instead, perhaps, yeah. so you can easier find things. Or might be the best shot from an EW team member I've seen. Someone screen print that and send it to Tree Kiwi, please, please. please. Where's, where's the kappa? Where's the kappa? <laughs> I'm waiting for it. It's gonna come. <laughs> uh, uh, floating vegetation and rocks makes me not want to play Medved. Uh, Roger, I think we have some fixes for floating vegetation. I want to say some of them are in Medved as well, but don't quote me on it. Mm. I went through the whole list today. Um, I'll, I'll double check, and you'll see it in the patch notes as well. And we have not forgotten about Medved. More animals per park, specifically in the mountains, Attica Stewart. Um, more animals and weapons is s always something on our list, so it's just a matter of time. Nice. Bingo. Just rename the game John Wick Call of the Wild. Mad Phil, do a John Wick crossover. I love those movies. <laughs> Add loadout presets. Again, that was brought up earlier in the stream. It would certainly be something cool that we could look into. Mm. Um. Uh, Francois. Van Zul. I don't know if he's French or whatever. Can we look at the prices for taxidermy, especially for the bigger animals, since they're quite pricey? I uh, also asked to add elephants uh, to Warongar. Elephants, mm, wouldn't say yes to that. Uh, but the taxidermy price, this is something we're looking mm. at. So we hear the, the feedback from you guys, and that is something that we're looking to rebalancing as well. It's not going to come for true patch, uh, but it's something we're working on for later. 
Are we going to add any more geese or ducks? I mean, as time goes on, there's, there's a whole planet full of animals we'd love to have in our game in some descriptions. Yes. So chances are you're going to find some more uh, bird life coming yes, up. Yes, absolutely. Future. Usually what we do for a new reserve is we like just print a lot of images of any kind of bird and then we just pick a dart. <laughs> like cinnamon teal it is. But you keep missing the turkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we make them really, really small. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, will there be any wild sheep? Uh, wild sheep uh, popular request as well. Yeah. I mean, again, uh, when you're saying will there be, when will there be, for us, we just store them in our feedback bank. Uh, we know that there's tons of stuff that you want to do. And yeah. it's really just a case of how quickly can we get things into the game. And obviously, what we're doing now is taking a break a little bit from how quickly we're putting things into the game in order to do things like this tree yep. patch. So there's always this balance about, you know, improving what's there, adding new stuff. And some folks want more of one than the other, but, you know, it's our challenge just to make it balanced and what's best for everybody. Yep. So Absolutely. And mm. it's, it's good to see those requests as well, uh, because yes. you, you guys know you want this and that animal. And we've been adding the wolves, we've been adding a lion, we've been adding tons of animals that have been... Uh, suggested by you guys yep. so just keep that stuff going and uh, i think you'll s you'll see what you'd want to see yes keep the awesome feedback coming and we will keep on listening put it that way um save data fix we're looking into issues for the save game so thankfully you guys have been sending us a lot of save games so thank you very much for mm -hmm. that that helps the team tremendously and we're continuing to work on that um there's no update further than that, but we're still looking into doing um, adjustments for the true patch. So asking for animals, chat, cough, Bigfoot, cough, cough. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know Bigfoot's not already there? Just because you're not good enough to find one, Taco. <laughs> Love you, Taco. Yes. Uh, just got here. What is the true patch about? So just going to repeat this um, mm. once more. Shotgun overhaul. So in the harvest screen, you'll be able to see all your pellet hits in one um, cloud kind of grouped up. So the, the hit list is not going to be super long anymore. Uh, that will come with uh, adjustments to the velocity of the pellets itself. Integrity will be rebalanced. So overall, the shotguns will just be much more viable. Um, population reset on all platforms along with a reset of leaderboards and hunting log. So you won't see those uh, abnormal bigger than 1000 scores anymore. Uh, we will remove the consecutive harvest bonus for the score. So it will only affect how much more money and XP you're getting from your harvests. And then we fixed a couple of bugs like uh, camera snapping, backpack making noise. We increased tent limits. Uh, there's a new game loadout, um, send eliminator description aiming things, bows have sway now, tons of things, and we'll be happy to post the whole list once we get closer. And you can check out these changes in the open beta on Steam this weekend, where you can also enjoy two racks on the roe deer. Favorite deer among many hunters. Yes, <laughs> again, super tasty. Should I buy the Xbox version of the game? Carson, buy whichever platform you like. All of them are... Uh, the same as far as content's concerned, so it's really up to you if you prefer pl how you prefer playing from your couch, from your desk, or uh, yeah, console versus keyboard, etc. Speaking of keyboard, a few folks have been popping up here and there saying, "Help! I like it on the consoles." I've I've explained in the past that um, again, talking about our bandwidth and what we want to do for the game, it's something that's going to affect a small portion of the population, but will take quite so much time. Is that still something that's somewhat accurate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, s I saw Lefty as well in there. Um, mm. It's still on our list, and it's yeah. slowly moving up and down, depending on what, what we're working on right now. And again, like, the bigger focus right now is on like the scoring issues, save game, stuff like this. So we're mm -hmm. not forgetting about it, but it, it will take some more time until we get to it. Yeah. Uh, third person view of character, that would be pretty neat, but again on the list of all the awesome stuff we want to do for the game. Probably not top of the priority, but we'll stick it on our big list of feedback stuff. Spray and pray, Carsten, that was exactly what that was. Uh, it's kind of how I start. I start for the first three to four shots, I aim, and after that it's just like... <laughs> and hope for the best. Um. <laughs> Chill, Graham. First duck died from the first shot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see... I d just making sure, right? Um, love what you guys are doing. Keep up the great work. Love the moose now. Nice to hear that, Flyman. Sweet. And, uh, you know, moose is just one of many animals that we'll get into. True Rex love. Yeah, absolutely. And great to hear that. Um, happy if you guys are enjoying the new weapon pack mm. as well. 
um, with the, the Moose Truex. I've seen some great, really great Moose in the trophy lodges, like some pictures that you guys posted here and there. So keep that up. Really nice to see. Maybe adding space in the lodge for the photos we take in game. That'd be pretty neat, having mm. photo frames around your lodge. Nice, yeah. That was a good suggestion. Loving the 30 or 6 so far. I've been having a blast with all the weapons. Um, you know, of course I work for the company, so there's a certain element of bias, but legit, I've been having a ton of fun. Uh, particularly with the air rifle, as I said, for someone who doesn't play with zeroing and likes to, you know, guesstimate my holdover, that's a real, real fun new challenge yeah, I'm playing absolutely. with. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Antonio Ramos had a question um, regarding performance on console. So Xbox and PlayStation, low frame rates and that kind of thing. Uh, that's also something we're constantly looking into, same as crashes. So uh, we will have, I think, a couple of crash fixes with the true patch as well. Um, I have to look into whether we'll have Im performance improvements as well. Mm. But knowing Victor, who is a systems programmer, great guy, um, I'm sure there's going to be some magic there as well. Yep. And that's something we'll always be working on. As you said, this is something that tends to come with every update. Yeah, it's yeah, always... It's, uh, it's, yeah. it's just pretty complex stuff to do, so uh, it's, not, it's not trivial. Mm. Classic style trophy shots, they'd be pretty neat too. Um, yeah, absolutely. One. I think anything we can still uh, take on from classic is uh, something that we want to do. Mm. It's just going to be a matter of time. I yeah. uh, can't confirm anything about uh, trophy shots at this point. Love the game. Pop resets more often, please. See, population resets for us are a solution to an issue. It's not really something we f would want to have to do frequently. Um, it's more of a fix for past problems in this case. Uh, uh, what about the Leonfield 303? Again, there's tons of cool stuff. Cu cool animals, rifles, you name it. And uh, yeah, Leonfield, one of them. 50 BMG for bunnies. Unlikely, I'm going to say on that one. You uh, gave us Bigfoot tracks on Medved and Hirschfeld. And uh, so put him, please. So put him in, please. Stop teasing Fooster and Taco. We, <laughs> we would never tease them. Never. <laughs> never. <coughs> Dang it, I think, was that a bear or a deer that just came from past? It was a bear. Crocodiles and hippos to Africa map, please. Um. Ain't your mama? Really enjoy the work you've put into an already great game. Any thoughts on level cap increase? Thank you very much for the love. Uh, level cap increase. Yeah, uh, lots of thoughts on that one. Um, that's also a little bit further out since that's... Uh, nothing about the level system is broken at the moment. So we'll touch that a little bit later. Mm -hmm. But definitely something that we want to do because we, we acknowledge that, you know, a lot of the max level people, like for them, it's like they would like to have that little more incentive of like going out and maxing out things. I mean, that's the great so thing about the game. It's like different folks yeah. enjoy different things. Yeah. Some people love the missions. They want more missions. Other folks just want to get out there and hike around, kind of like how I play. Yeah. And there's <laughs> others who are, you know, all about the progress, getting the next skill points and yeah. whatnot. So it, it is nice that there's so many different ways to play the game. But um, of course, it's lots of things for us to yeah. keep our fingers on. There should be a deer hiding behind this rock. Are you going for a shotgun as well? I uh, am. Again? I am. Yes. Very good, very Hopefully, good. if this deer sticks around. It, it did... Uh, oh. It's there! It did make a noise at me, so it kind of knows I'm here. So let's see. Uh, will the geese be fixed as well, Christoph Hermanns? Uh, yeah, we're looking into that. So there's issues with geese, uh, especially in multiplayer right now. We're working on that as we speak. So that hopefully will be fixed with the true patch as well. It's not done yet, but it's in progress. <laughs> I think I'm playing Ring Around the Roses <laughs> with, a, with a deer around this boulder formation. Bamboozled again. Yes. And now it's going to walk into our wind? No. Okay, we'll see. A player option to reset population. Again, pop resets should really not be a regular game mechanic as such. So unlikely. Why did my deer disappear to? <laughs> I got so memed by this deer, seriously. <laughs> Man, this is why I don't play uh, FPS games. <laughs> Where did you go? Okay. Rip. Yeah, I think he's going. Oh. Oh. Just like our chat. Sorry, folks, if you uh, asked a question in the last 30 seconds or so, our chat window seems to have uh, checked out. It should be coming back in now. 
So much Sentler as time is left, ask Ormi Gaming. Well, as chance would have it, that's on your list, isn't it? Sorry, what is uh, it? Show how much Lur oh, Sentlers, Sentlers, yeah. yes. Um, we'll have it for the Sent Eliminator. Oh, it's an eliminator. So okay, gotcha. Yeah, we can mm. check the scent lures as well. I don't know by heart whether that's just the same timing, but the scent eliminator is 30 minutes, so you'll be able to read that in the description uh, with the patch, and I'll forward that happily to the team. Mm. Any night vision coming in, Sam Wallace? Um, that's nothing we have talked about so far or can confirm. It's a good suggestion, though. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting one. Haven't seen many of those requests do y'all individually make the rec or is it a system base that creates them uh, Ty Jubert uh, it's a bit of both so Cecilia um, our artist for all animals and clothing and these kind of things she makes a big batch of different racks for every single animal and then uh, our animators and coders Preeth, Patrick um, and I'm probably forgetting a thousand that have been working on that system they then create a system to create more different variations out of these antlers. And it depends on the species how many base antlers we create. I believe for like the moose and I think the elk as well, like they had a lot of different variations. Mm. And I I don't want to say a number, but I think for the ones that have a lot of different variations, I think it's like thirty or fifty or something like this. Like it, it gets into crazy numbers. And then you get oh then you get variations of the variations. Exactly, yeah. Okay. It's not really the gun I want for this, but I do want to just show the harvest Holy screen. Shit. I just want to show the harvest screen, so I uh, went a bit uh, wild on that one. <laughs> for those of you who missed it in the beginning. Did we cover blood marks? That was going to be a thing, um, So, yeah, one thing that we're going to do for blood splatter is we're going to change the naming of the blood splatters themselves so it's going to be easier to to know was it a vital hit or not mm. so will the animal go down or not so this is should be something that you can see in the open beta this weekend as well nice and here again we can see uh, one part of the shotgun overhaul so this is the shotgun pellet consolidation so here you can see every little arrow is representing one pellet of the yeah. shotgun shot. so my second one was pretty rotten and yeah. I can see that yeah exactly so you'll get a little bit more feedback about your shot placement mm -hmm. and also the the hit list as you can see is way less crowded now um, the if you look at the integrity bonus that's a work in progress right now uh, all of those are 100 percent at the moment obviously that's going to be fixed yeah. but yeah yes yes Rogue Trooper 11, thank you for joining. Thank you, Rogue Trooper. Uh, that's true, McMarvin. Unfortunately, the internet is a big place, and we do like to try and keep on top of streams, but we can't guarantee to watch them all. So if you do have a bug request, the best bet is to stick them on the uh, Steam Hub or hit us up on social media. Yep. Um, always the best options there. And you can always link to a clip on your stream where it's apparent, because video is very, very useful for us to see things uh, happening. By all means, do that. Can we add a perk that increases scope, um, clarity, and visibility? Yeah, I think our Dutchie, our uh, weapon artist, I think he talked about this a couple of times as well. Mm -hmm. So I think if we find a window uh, to just invest the time, it's definitely something we can bring forward to the team. What about those nifty tinted shades that we had in Classic? I know that tree key would be all over those things. He'd be happy. Yeah. He'd be very happy, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very true. Make some guns cheaper. Uh, Master Fisherman, which guns specifically do you think are too expensive? Uh, always give us a look, details if possible, then we can uh, better store the feedback away. Yeah. Uh, Ecorn75 had a question regarding uh, disappearing animals, teleporting animals, stuck animals, these kind of things. Um, those things have been things we've been working on since release of the game, so we will never stop working on those. Um, one thing that I mentioned earlier was the 
uh, nav mesh and pathfinding of enemies. That's one thing that, that we're addressing at the moment. That's uh, one of the reasons why the packs patch size will be pretty big, like around 10 gigabytes, maybe more. So hopefully that will help, and we continue to do changes wherever we can. So you rarely see like a big announcement of like we fixed everything. Yeah. Uh, but we'll 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 keep doing those maintenance and improvements with every release that we can. So you'll see them popping up in the patch notes, and hopefully it'll improve your experience, even if it's only a small um, aspect. So many questions flying in here. It's difficult to grab one in the in the yeah, line of yeah, text yeah. going up. Yeah, it's, it's great so that you have so much feedback. Exactly. Yeah, it's great to have all you guys in mm -hmm. here. Uh, so a request of ducks and geese should have inertia, like uh, instead of a ragdoll, so they fall nicely, like in plastic. That's a great suggestion. It's definitely something we will look into. Uh, nothing that we can confirm for any upcoming release. Mm -hmm. This group does a great job being transparent with the community. We do try our best. Thank you for the comments there, Pierce. Much appreciated. Lucas Hartmann, do you play baseball? <laughs> Carson <laughs> Veers wants to know. <laughs> uh, thought about uncapping the player level, Zerky is asking. Uh, no need for more skills or perks, maybe just monetary awards and a way to show much a player has played the game. I was thinking this last night, actually. I, I was sat there, lying in bed, after playing, and I was like, you know what would be cool? Like in like in COD Prestige System, something like that? Like Legendary Hunter? Yeah, or yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, pretty neat. Yeah, and it's... Uh, it's more elegant than just like okay we increase our max level from 60 to 70 or yeah. like 100 or whatever like yeah definitely yeah we've been talking about that a, lo a lot so it's just going to be when is the right time to do mm. it cool not so much the right time but when do we have time yes to precisely focus. which is also yeah. coincidentally the right time <laughs> 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 dogs collect duck kills again doggos would be tons of fun yeah why was there no outfit for yukon um uh, yeah, this is a great question. Um, that was because the animals and true Rex and the outfits is all done by the same person, Cecilia. And we sat down and we said like, okay, what are we going to have? Because mm. we have to say no to something. And then we said like, okay, let's focus on having animals and having true Rex. And then maybe we can add the outfits later on or we'll see if somebody else can do them. So that's the reason why Yukon did not get an outfit. But we heard everybody saying like, where the, where the heck are the outfits you so missed such an opportunity to have a boss plaid shirt in there yeah. i know the world has poison he was watching me to go he would have loved that <laughs> <laughs> can we get some horses instead of an atv or as well as that would be good i mean i doubt we're ever going to really remove the atv but horses could be cool i know i saw snowmobiles mentioned for medved yeah further I mean, up horses are like no animation work at all no that's so, super so easy. easy what about deer stick a saddle on a deer i mean we already mm. have them right exactly just, just yeah. ride a deer. <laughs> But again, I mean, that is the type of considerations we have is, you know, we have X amount of animators who have this amount of time. What should these animators be doing? So these are always the kind of things that we have to think about based upon the suggestions you folks give us. And we do like to hope we we go for the, you know, the hot topics, most requested yeah. stuff first. Yeah. So. Sled for a reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Josefira, I don't think that one will be too high on the list. Um, um, GMH123, uh regular population resets on console. Um, I think what we want to go for rather than resetting populations all the time is a population system that just works. Um, where you guys are not frustrated with not getting any diamonds or getting too many diamonds or that yeah. kind of thing. So we'll, we'd rather work on that system than to just roll out a, a, a reset every month or so. And we of course did adjust that just recently. Yeah, um, so we, yep. we put some more time into it and we'll probably do some more in the future as well. And for anyone who missed it, um, we will do a population reset on all platforms with the upcoming true patch. Mm. We will also reset leaderboards and hunting logs. Um, then we'll see how it goes and we will lie heavily on the feedback that you guys have. Um, but again, we'd, we'd rather fix the system rather yeah. than like, you know, do a, a band-aid every now and then. Absolutely. How do I get my map to look like yours loaded with animals? Actually, Ty, this is a completely fresh save on the dev build I created just before the stream. So this was just, I got fortunate this time, <laughs> which is good. Um. Mr. Krabs, is there any chance uh, going to be an Australia map? I think a uh, high chance for sure. It's just going to be a matter of time. Yeah. Uh, we just released Yukon, which was a, a, a huge map. Very happy that a lot of people like it. Um, so right now we're focusing more on quality of life, mm -hmm. um, and you'll see what the future will hold. 
I think the thing I always say is on a long long enough timeline, we'll have everything. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Like the goal mm. is still going to be we get feature and content parity with Classic, mm. who still have a lot of things that we, we'd love to snack. Um, but they also have a couple of years on us. so Just a few. Yeah, just <laughs> a few. Yeah. Like eight now, isn't it? Or seven and a half? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. More rifles for rabbits and squirrels and birds. Two to air rifles. I actually was talking about that yesterday. Two to air rifles would be quite fun. Um, mm. Yeah, I mean, we have the pistol that just released. We do. So that's that's one thing. But it's another yeah, small we game we item, we yeah. Yeah, we definitely hear you, and more weapons and animals mm. is always going to be something we'd love to do. Which list? Better red dots. Yeah, we've been collating feedback about that. Why don't you release extra missions in a pack for a small charge? Oh, it's great feedback. It's always nice to hear what uh, what kind of things you'd be welcome to buy in the future. Yeah, um, it would be super interesting what mm. exactly you're interested in when it comes to the missions. Is it more about uh, getting things to do? Or is it more about the narrative and the immersion and these kind of things? Because that's those are somewhat different in how we approach them and how much work is behind them. I saw someone asking, do we have a statistic on the most played maps? I mean, that's a tricky one to ask because, of course, we're very frequent with our updates. And every time we do an update, it tends to address a different map differently, which means everyone goes charging across to that map. So we have a very much ebb and flow of, you know, yeah. what people are playing the most. Yeah, um, uh, it's, uh, I think it's pretty even. Uh, obviously, Leighton is number one since it's the, the, the default map. So everybody my just <laughs> instantly gets to Leighton. Uh, then Hirschfelden because it's part of the base game. Mm. And then I think from the additional maps, I don't even know by heart. I it it might go against what you what one might say quickly of saying that oh must be Africa or mm. one of those bigger maps. I think I think Park is quite uh popular. Let's do a straw poll folks. What's your yeah. favorite map? Write it in chat. Let's see let's see what your favorites are. For me, it 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 was always a strong Leighton, and now it's 50-50 Leighton for Honga. They're like both like this. Yeah. Um, but then Yukon snuck in there too. Yeah, it's just, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. So yeah. what, what we got? I'm Yukon, Yukon, Leighton, Hirsch. I'm a huge Medved fan. Mm -hmm. I, I love the Warden. Uh, but now yeah. also like Yukon came in, it's it's a really good place. I really like Yukon. Savannah, Yukon, Leighton, Leighton, Medved, Yukon, Rocky Mountain, Elk. <laughs> <laughs> Chat does weird things. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Nice to see some Yukon love there, seeing as it's uh, you know newest yeah. to the stable, as it were. Yeah. That's our chat gone weird stuff again. I, th I think asking people to write all that stuff in has broken our chat. Solid strategy. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Oh well. It's overloaded with hypes. It should should uh, reload itself. It's yeah, I can I can go point. over again what we yeah Phil do a, do a wrap up one of, more time uh, what's happening yeah. well first of all when is it coming yeah so um, true patch is gonna come on all platforms simultaneously uh, within the next couple of weeks mm. so you shouldn't be waiting too long we want to get it out rather soon so it's gonna address the scoring and population issues yeah. so we don't want to wait too long so important reminder before this happens if you have a diamond you've been staking out or you know there's the melanistic rabbit you've had your eye on for ages do try and grab that because once the pop reset happens it'll be gone yep. so you've got a couple of weeks uh, well let's say a week uh, to be sure uh, to try and clean those up uh, yep. yeah exactly um, then the true patch uh, what will it bring so we will do a uh, reset of all animal populations or reset of leaderboards and hunting log that will happen. Um, so that will also reset your need zones, mm -hmm. so you know. Uh, there will be a shotgun overhaul. So what we've seen in the stream today, uh, shotgun pellet consolidation. So uh, you see the single pellets in your harvest screen for your shot placement. Um, we will go over integrity and all these kind of things when it comes to shotguns. So they'll be way more viable than they are today. Um, we will remove the consecutive harvest bonus. This is something we're still working on. So they should not affect your scoring anymore. They will only affect the how much money and XP you're getting per harvest. Yep. Um, Roe deer true racks. That's going to be a thing. It is. Um, we will have a new game loadout. So if you start a new game, you'll get not only the, the rifle, but also handgun, shotgun, and a couple of different items. And then there's a couple of, of um, bug fixes along that. So bows will have sway. Um, 
backpacks no longer m make noise when you're standing still. The camera is no longer snapping to the north when you're aiming. Send Eliminator has a better description. We're still working on geese, not working in multiplayer. We're still working on save game issues. Uh, there's going to be a big update to Animal Pathfinding, we'll which will make the patch pretty big, like around 10 gigabytes. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, lots of smaller Sorry. fixes uh, regarding aiming. So sometimes when you would aim, like you move by a pixel or two, that's going to be fixed. Some aim cancelling fixes, some uh, improvements for what perks work for what rifles and shotguns. Some fixes for floating vegetation and props. Um, quick draw will work on all rifles. Animals will only drop need zone clues when they're actually in need zones. Tent limit is going to be increased from 8 to 16 and tons of other things. These are only some of the things that we're getting close to completing now. Uh, some we're still in progress. Uh, some might not make it for true patch like the, the safe game issues. Uh, they might be a bit bigger. Um, geese and multiplayer I think we're working on so throughout uh, like in the next couple of days you'll get more information and we'll be able to confirm more and more what's going to be in the true patch and that's going to be a thing that we want to keep doing um, forever it's a heck of a lot of stuff yeah so again um, you know obviously Phil's read out a few times in the stream but uh, we will get that in text somewhere so you can digest that in your own time um, we'd love to see chimpanzee hunting I don't think that's top of the list um, mm -hmm, thank you great stuff Florida map. That'd be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. With Florida man. We get, we'd have to get a fan boat, though. That would <laughs> be amazing. Blasting around the Evergate. Yeah. Evergate Glades. Awesome. Uh, yeah, there's another one. It's just a small one. Um, when you're disembarking the ATV, uh, you holster your weapons. A lot of people get confused by that, so I think that's going to mm. be changed. So you have a rifle, you go on your anti ATV, you leave the ATV, you have nothing anymore. That will be not the case any longer. Anymore? Any longer? Yeah, that works. Both work. Sorry, my arm is all over no, your stuff. Fine, that's I'm fine, uh, that's fine. over here uh, fiddling with the Twitch screen. Da, 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 da. But yeah, uh, huge thanks to everyone tuning in, giving us the feedback as mm. always. Like huge thanks for people supporting uh, the development uh, with playing the game, buying DLC, telling your friends, all that stuff. And we understand. If there's frustration right now because of scoring, because of antlers disappearing, save game issues and all of this stuff. And the true patch is uh, one step to alleviate a lot of these issues. And with every, yep. with every update, we try to fix as much as we can. And now it's going to be a, a completely free release. There's no DLC attached to this. Everybody will get this. Um, and we hope to continuously work on the, the health and stability of the game. Can we use XXL tree stands for Zaggy DK? <laughs> <laughs> As he requested it, you know? Come on. We should do this. <laughs> we should totally do this. <laughs> cool. Um, I guess that about wraps us up. I was hoping we could do a raid for one of the smaller community yeah, members, yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. I don't recognize people. I don't want to send you somewhere where someone's, like, you know, dropping bombs and stuff. So <laughs> I mean, we, we had the disclaimer now. Yeah. So, at your own risk. Yes. Okay. Um, no commentary. We don't want Someone here was doing their very, very first hunt. The yeah. very first time hunter. Rook game. They have one person viewing them. Uh, they do not have a cam, but we're going to go and make their day and go say hello to this person. Nice. So, to all you folks, um, thank you so much for being here. You've been awesome. Um, again, more info will come out very soon about um, exactly what's going to be in the update in a text form. And don't forget, Beta will be coming this weekend. Yeah. Um, so I guess that's about, about all from us. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you all next week. And again, keep an eye on our Discord. Keep an eye on our social media. All the info about this is going to be coming out over the next few days. And yeah. Thank you very much for tuning in. Happy hunting. And enjoy Rogue Gamer. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh.